All right. We are here. I am Corey. I am Joe. And this is Losers Play Games. And for our inaugural game, we're playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which should have just been called Sonic 3, but they were in a rush to get the game out, so they split it into two. But we're playing the whole thing, because it's better that way. So, yeah. I'm going to be Sonic, because I'm the hero. I'm going to be Tails, because sidekicks. And because... I'm the one that's good at this game, but we'll we'll move on to other games later on. Not that everybody we had a Genesis in their youth. That's all I had in my youth, man. I started with the Genesis. This is this is part of the reason why I chose this game. Is this is one of the first games I had, and I got really good at it as a kid. So, fuck yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, um. I should probably warn you guys, I have a dirty mouth, so if you don't enjoy words like, like fuck and shit and cunt, you know, all that shit, I'm not going to be holding back, so you might just want to like leave now because I don't want you anyway. So I'm not a very accommodating person. And I'm just leaving Tails behind because I don't care. Makes it better that Chaos way. Chaos Emerald, bitch. And I'm not going to be going for perfect score because fuck that. I'm just going to get the Chaos Emerald. Got to go for perfect score. Huh? Gotta go I just, for perfect score. I always used to, but then I just stopped caring. And I just play it. Just to get the Chaos Emeralds, because it makes the game go so fa so much faster. Well, it's not like we're unlocking trophies for this anyway, so... Well, no, but... Well, that's that's all the more reason not to try to get the perfect score on everything. Because, yeah. Because it's unnecessary. Because back in the day, it didn't rely on trophies that sell a game. It relied on good gameplay. Yeah. And it kind of makes me hate myself a little bit because now I'm nothing but a trophy hunter when it comes to newer games. You are. And it makes me appreciate them a lot less. Like, this game. I don't need trophies to enjoy it. I just I just play the game. <sighs> Uphill. Whee! Rings! Rings! Bonus stage! This is the best one. You get more shit from this one than any of the rest. Water shield? That's like the shittiest shield. Nope. Fuck you. Get up there. Eee. No, I want it. Oh. Extra life. Another extra life. Not working. Why? It says it's signed in. Why isn't it working? Lame. Solo venture. I guess. Shit. <laughs> We're playing this on the fucking Wii U, so. Oh, maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe. But even then, like, it was working like two seconds ago, wasn't it? No. I could have sworn you were doing stuff before. I thought I was. That's just because that sucks so much.
Oh shit, I didn't mean to go in there. This bonus stage sucks balls. Mainly because you it depends entirely on luck, and I don't have that. So I'm just going to yeah, get out of that shit. Loser! Gotta do the bonus stages. Alright, maybe I can force Yeah, we're playing this on emulator because I don't feel like hooking up the Genesis. Um, let's see. Options controller recording right now. What? Let's see. Okay. Let's play. Now try. All right, we're back. Let's go down here. Oh. Because. Special stage. Gotta oh. get those Chaos Emeralds, man. You really can't do anything on the special stage, so. That's uh, alright. I am in control. Actually, the funny thing is, this is actually, like, the one Sonic game I don't own on Genesis. Shame Only on because. You. Only because I can't find it. I have Sonic 1 and 2 and Sonic and Knuckles, but I cannot find Sonic 3 anywhere. Unless I look online and I end up paying like a... You just get pawn shots. Just don't go to... SI. Eh. Mm. You got overpriced. A-holes. Everything you buy there has to be priced on the same price it is on eBay. That's lame. Not cool. Woo! Chaos Emerald. Yeah, I have these courses practically memorized, so... That's why I'm just kind of zooming through them. I just... This is pretty much all I played as a kid. Until I finally got a PlayStation and got new games and stuff. It was just Sonic 24-7. In fact, I used to play video games so much as a kid that my dad had to, like, ban me from video games for a while. <laughs> it was a dark time. I never got banned. I spent three months playing Ocarina of Time in a <laughs> row. That's the only game I played for three months straight. Oh man, that was a tough battle. Yeah, it was. No! You ruined it! You gotta keep it you going! You set the sign on fire, man! Well, good! It's got your face <laughs> on it. Sonic doesn't deserve the credit he got. I did all the work. You won't let me do anything. <laughs> You're just running through. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just automatic. I know this game really well, and I just blaze through. Though, I will say one thing. There's probably going to be, like, super nerds out there that watch this and be like, You missed the special stage ring that was on this level in this specific location. I didn't fucking study the game and learn every last location. I just know it well enough to complete it fairly easily. So, and that's all that you super nerds. And I was just thinking about growing up with Sonic. It makes me depressed that there hasn't been a decent Sonic game in forever. Generations was the latest decent one. Yeah, I, I will say, yeah, Generations was really good. Was that two players? No. No? Just it's shame one. on them. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there, there was no multiplayer to it. So, yeah. And it only had, like, the nine stages. Like, there was so much potential with that, too. They could have just There was a DLC like, stage. Not really, no. There was... It was... Casino, Casino Night. Casino Night. And all it was was a fucking pinball game. <laughs> That's it. Fuck that shit. 
because Sega could have done so much more with that game. They could have just kept releasing DLC, like you know, like remakes of like old Genesis levels or levels from pretty much any of the Sonic games, and they could have just been making like more Whoa, and more money shit. like that. That but hell just happened. You, you, you went soaring. I know. I saw that. But yeah, they could have made a whole bunch of money doing that, but they didn't because they're stupid. What? That's why they went out of business. Well, they didn't go out of business, but they got out of the console wars anyway. Uh, I kind of wish well, that they... was because the Dreamcast sucked. No, it was because the Saturn sucked. The Dreamcast was actually doing pretty well, but by that point, it was already it had too no late. games. Because Sega had nobody to develop for them. That's what I'm saying. Because it was too late by then. Whee. Because you screwed them all over when you released the second Saturn with no games. Like, I don't understand how they did that. Like, how they made the Sega Saturn and didn't make any, like, decent Sonic games for it. Like, how does that even happen? Like... There was, like, Sonic the Fighters, which was retarded. And then Sonic R, which was even worse. It was, like, a Sonic racing game, but they weren't racing in cars. They were just racing on foot. And it was, like, some of the worst controls in racing game history. That's about it. That's all the notable games for, like, Sonic games on the Sega Saturn. Dreamcast at least had a bunch of decent ones. Yeah, Dreamcast had the fucking Sonic Adventure games. And those kicked ass. They did. And they kicked ass even more when Sega had to port them to the GameCube. Which is when I played them. Yeah, I didn't I didn't actually own a, a Saturn or a Dreamcast, unfortunately. I wanted one, but I never got one. I was pretty happy with my PlayStation, though, so... It all worked out. Because you gotta have your Final Fantasy VII. Well, see, that's the thing. I didn't even know the Final Fantasy series existed until we... It was like one Christmas, and I had gotten a bunch of birthday money. Or not birthday, Christmas money. Yeah, I got birthday money on Christmas. But yeah, I got, I got a bunch of fucking Christmas money, and my mom was... Uh, like, she took us to the mall to spend all our Christmas money, and of course, I immediately went to, at the time, EB Games, because there was no GameStop just yet, and, uh, and that's where I would pretty much spend, like, all of my money, and while we were there, I, like, I didn't find Final Fantasy VII, she did. And she looked at it, like, looked at the case and saw some of, like, the monsters and shit that you fight. And she thought, that looks pretty cool. I want to play that. So she bought it for herself. Mm. And then I saw her play it and thought, holy shit, that looks like a cool game. And ever since then, I've been in love with the Final Fantasy series. Why the hell am I talking about Final Fantasy right now and fucking PlayStation? We're playing Sonic. <laughs> Reasons. Oh my god. Well, it's kind of like my uh, my own personal video game history. Tails is fucking invincible, dude. He's immortal. I know. He, he's not, a, not invincible. I want to feel he's like I'm doing something in this. I want to feel like I'm actually contributing something other than when we have boss battles, alright? But that's the most important time to contribute. You can contribute in this battle right up here. Yeah. Just stay off of that bridge. I told you to stay off the bridge. <laughs> I'm immortal. <laughs> I didn't do anything. And I how did I die? You fell off the bridge. <laughs> yes. Alright. Get through the first zone. Four chaos emeralds down. Yay! Knuckles. Yeah. 